Hi, happy new year to everyone. Welcome to Sutra Coder. This is Ravina, and today I'm gonna start this year with a three sum problem. Uh, I hope you like it. Let's start by reading. Given an integer array nums written all the triplets nums of i, j, and k such that i is not equal to j, i is not equal to k, and j is not equal to k, and nums of i plus nums of j plus nums of k is zero. Notice that the solution set must not contain duplicate triplets. Okay, so let's see what this problem is saying. Uh, we'll be given an array. Uh, with some numbers in it and we have to find a combination of three integers such that their summation is equal to zero and uh, we have to return such three integers so our return will be list of lists where the sub list will contain those three integers and we have to keep in mind that the sub integer list is not repeated so let's look at the example here we have nums which is this and uh, now let's start calculating and seeing which three pairs uh, which triplets we have so if you look at this uh, my if you add minus one zero and one it will give you zero right minus one plus one is zero plus zero is zero so this is one uh, triplet that we have then the next triplet we have is uh this nums of one two and four so zero one and minus one but if you look at it it's uh repeated right minus one zero and one and the second uh, triplet that we saw is also minus one zero and one so that means in the result we'll add it just one time let's look at another triplet we have minus one we have two and then we have minus one again so minus one uh, plus minus one becomes minus two and then two minus two will be uh, zero so this is our another triplet and the distinct triplets that we have are minus one zero one and minus one minus one two uh, we found actually three triplets but two of them were repeating and that's why we include just one okay so let's see how we can solve this uh, let me open my notepad here real quick Okay, so first thing I have to do is sort my array so that I'll have my uh, elements in the ascending order and I can use two pointers left and right to compute the sum. Okay, so let's see. Uh, when I sort this, it becomes minus one, minus one, zero, one, two, and four. Okay, now I'm going to go through each and every element with my I pointer. My I is going to be zero. So uh the first thing i have to check here is uh if my i is if my i is greater than zero are there any duplicate elements on my left uh right now my i is not greater than zero so i don't have to use that condition but if that is true then i have to continue my loop i am not going to compute it for the second uh, repeating character okay because we don't want a uh, duplicate triplets in our result array the next thing I have to do is I have my result array with me. This is going to be global. This actually comes before the for loop. Uh, the first the result array, uh, then you have your sorting and then your for loop starts. So my i is, got, is uh, initialized to zero. Okay. The next thing I have to do is I have to have my l and r, my left and right. My l is going to be i plus one. So in our case, my l is one and my r is going to be the end of the uh, array so it is five so let's mark them uh, my i is here my l and my r okay so uh, while my l is less than r i'm going to compute sum again and again and check if it's equal to zero if it's equal to zero then i'm going to add it to my result if it's greater than zero that means it's too big i need to crunch it that means i have to decrement my r if my s is less than zero that means i need more numbers in it so i'm going to increment my l so let's see i am going to have my s s is going to be in my elements at i l and r so minus one plus minus one plus four which is really two my s is actually greater than zero so i have more numbers in it i need to crunch it my r is going to come here okay uh while my l is less than r yes it is okay continue 
I'm going to calculate my sum again. My sum is going to be minus 1 plus minus 1 plus 2. So minus 1 plus minus 1 is minus 2. Minus 2 plus 2 is 0. Oh, we found something. My Is my s greater than 0? No. Is my s less than 0? No. It is equal to 0. That means I can add it to my result. So I have my result. Uh, sorry. I'm going to add minus 1, minus 1, and 2 to my result. Okay, so when I do that, I also have to make sure that I don't have any duplicate uh, elements at my L, uh, L index and my R index. So I'm quickly going to check is my element at L is equal to my element at L plus 1. No, it's not. Okay, if that would have been the case, then I would have incremented my L because I don't want duplicate triplets with me. The same thing I'm going to check with R is my R is equal to equal to my R minus 1th element. Uh, it's not right now, but if that would have been true, I would have decrement my R index. So since though none of those are true, we are going to go ahead now. Now, while my L is less than R, I'm going to keep incrementing my L or decrementing my R. So while my L is less than R and, and my nums of L is equal to equal to my nums of L plus 1. So if I come across this condition, I am going to just keep incrementing my L. And the same thing I'm going to do with R. While my R is L is less than R, my nums of R is uh, equal to equal to my nums of R minus 1. Then I'm going to keep decrementing my R. And then I'm going to increment my L decrement my r in the end i have to return my result okay let's see you can run this okay submit okay so this beats 85 percent of the solutions now let's talk about the space and time complexity of this problem the time complexity if here if you look at it nums dot sort takes n log of n and then i have this for loop for uh, with time complexity n and then a while loop again so it actually becomes n log n plus n square and uh, if you look at it n log n is pretty small compared to n square so we drop it and the time complexity of this is actually n square now let's talk about the space complexity so here we are using array result that is going to store the in worst case scenario it can store all the elements so because you can have a triplet suppose there are just three numbers and the result is that uh, so in that case the worst case scenario is result will be equal to length of the nums and other than that i just have some constants here like l r and i so the space complexity of this is going to be o of n I hope the explanation was helpful. Uh, the code for this is going to be on my GitHub channel. I'm going to include the link in the description below. Also, I am on Discord, so feel free to connect with me there. If you have any suggestions uh, for me to solve any new problems, please let, let me know in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe. That really helps my channel. And Happy New Year to all. Thank you. Bye.